Hi, this is Peter with Side Effects, and today we're going to be talking about the Feather Match Uncondensed Sop. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this default Feather Sop up here, and this is uh, this is the Feather template that happens when you drop down Feather template from the tab menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this condensed feather, which is just a shaft curve here. Uh, you can see that the barbs are def defined by the points here on the shaft, and uh, they're visualized based on attributes that are saved on each of these points, so that defines where these barbs come out. So if we want to take this from a condensed um, version of a feather and change this into an uncondensed version, we obviously use Feather Uncondense. There's another video that talks about this and how it works. Uh, please check that out if you'd like to learn more about this. But in this case, now we have all of our uh, barbs as geometry, right? So now that we have these all um, as uh, editable points, prims, things like that, we can do stuff to this and using just standard SOP tools. So we could do something like this where we add noise to it. Um, we could UV project a new grid on it that's at a 45 degree angle, for example, maybe add some color to it, things like that. But once we get it to this stage, what if we want to bring that back over to a condensed feather, one that's just the center shaft for optimization's sake? Well, we need to use that's where the feather match uncondensed SOP comes in. So let's take a look at this here. So what this node is going to do by default is it's going to transfer the position and transfer the UV. If we turn off transfer position, you'll see that it jumps back down to the uh, ground plane where it was before it was uh, deformed here. So that's what the transfer position is doing. And obviously transfer UV is transferring us from the kind of straight, um, you know, kind of by the axis uh, UV grid to this kind of off axis 45 degree uh, UV grid that we that we added here in this UV project step. So that's pretty obvious i think what those are doing and the group the group node up here at the top would allow for us to select a certain sub subset of feathers to kind of work on here but this last one the barb attributes um, that is where you can take any custom attributes that you've put on the barbs and transfer those back onto the uncondensed feathers um, as these kind of multi-float um, attributes and you can see here that these are already these already exist with things like um, our P barb R and P barb L. So that's the position. We've got our UV. Uh, but what if we wanted our color to come back over here? Well, you can see that's not showing up now. So let's add in CD here. We'll see that now the color comes over. And this actually will now visualize the colors that are on each and every one of these individual kind of virtual barb points. And if we look at this, we now have CD barb L and CD barb R as 12 float um, attributes that are defining the colors for each of these kind of virtual points that exist. You know, here they were actual um, real points of geometry, but now they're just being drawn on the GPU and those attributes have been brought over. So now we can kind of visualize and see what we did to those uh, uncondensed feathers and bring that back over to our condensed feather. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how this node works um, and where you can kind of use this in your workflows. Thanks so much for watching.